after beating St. John Bosco last week, West Ranch now looks to face a familiar foe, St. Bernard High School, the team that knocked him out last year on a heartbreaking buzzer beater. As Michael Jordan once said, it became personal, and the team looked to find redemption on Tuesday's contest. From the opening tip-off, St. Bernard came out ready to play. Taj Ariza knocks down the three with ease, and the Vikings would take the lead in the first quarter with a total of five threes within the first eight minutes of play. But the Wildcats weren't going down without a fight. With the steal from Daryl Morse, he sprints to the basket for a nice layup off the glass, putting the Wildcats behind by one. At the start of the second quarter, the Wildcats began to rally together, starting from Jakari Miles, who puts up the three in the corner. Then shortly after, Daryl Morris drives down the court with an explosive right-hander for the bank shot, bringing the Cats to tie it up with the Vikings. Coming off the bench, Zach Byman shoots not just one, but two three-pointers from the hot quarter, giving West Ranch a chance to take the lead over St. Bernard. The Wildcats would keep the lead throughout the second quarter. Going into halftime, St. Bernard works on finding a game plan to come back in the second half. But the Wildcats finished the job and crushed the Vikings by 21. For the guys last year, because you, you know how they lost last year on a game winner, a buzzer beater. So I think it was a, a good way to go out and, and go on to the next game. Wow, what a finish. What more can you ask for from a revenge game? A blowout victory. The team says they're now shifting their focus to this Friday where they'll be playing Harvard Westlake in a do or die situation. Reporting from West Ranch High School, this is Kyle Kawamoto for Kenya's News.